Welcome to the Bosman Viewing, and today it's time to talk about another obscure player. But before we get started, let's look back and remember just how good this guy really was. A skillful playmaker who could seemingly dance past players whenever he wanted to. It's the man they call the Derry Pelly, Paddy McCourt. Born in Northern Ireland in the city of Derry, McCourt spent his childhood like many other kids in the area, by playing football at any given moment in the hopes of one day becoming a professional. This led to him playing for his local youth club Foyle Harps, when he was quickly noticed by scouts over from England in the year 2000 and was promptly signed by then English third division side, Rochdale. McCourt was initially signed on a youth contract at the club and would go on to make his first team debut for Rochdale in 2001. After impressing his first few months at his new club, thanks to his abilities and raw talent, McCourt was rewarded with a three and a half year deal and finished his first season with a respectable four goals in 23 appearances. His skillful playing style began to draw the attention of a few Premier League clubs around this time, However, the following season saw McCourt pick up a few injuries and a drop off in form. And after struggling for a few seasons to get back to his best, Rochdale opted to release McCourt in 2005, at which point he signed for League of Ireland side, Shamrock Rovers. The club at this time was dealing with some financial difficulties due to the construction of a new stadium, but viewed McCourt as a necessary signing upon his availability, and he didn't disappoint. McCourt scored three goals in his first six games and would go on to score seven goals in his 17 appearances for Shamrock, quickly becoming a fan favourite. Unfortunately, due to the financial issues surrounding Shamrock Rovers at this period, they were forced to sell their new star player after less than one season, and McCourt would move on to sign for his hometown club, Derry City. Upon arriving back in Northern Ireland and signing for Derry City, McCourt would make an immediate impact by helping his new club win the League of Ireland Cup in his first season. The following campaign would also prove to be successful for McCourt by playing a big part in Derry's famous UEFA Cup run where they eventually lost to PSG and helping the club win a cup double with victories in both the FIA Cup and retaining the League of Ireland Cup. His performances would continue to impress over the next few years which prompted many major clubs across the UK to submit offers to sign McCourt in 2008, one of which happened with the club he supported as a boy and this was a chance he couldn't say no to, which led to him signing for Scottish Giants, Celtic. After agreeing to a three year deal with his dream club, many of the fans were excited to see McCourt play at Celtic Park, as the then management staff described McCourt as being as gifted a footballer they had ever seen. He'd go on to make his debut for his new club in October 2008, but would see most of his first season playing with the Celtic reserves, in an aim to get him up to speed into the required match fitness needed to play for Celtic. His second season in Glasgow would prove to be a lot more impactful, with McCourt scoring memorable goals against Falkirk, St Mirren and St Johnson. These goals displayed McCourt at his very best, using his skill to jink past defenders and finish with ease. Premier League sides began to take notice again around 2010, which prompted Celtic to tie McCourt down to a longer and improved contract. In the 2010-11 season, McCourt would continue to score memorable goals in his now signature solo run style, and also win his first trophy in Scotland with the 2011 Scottish Cup. However, what was beginning to become apparent was McCourt's struggle to maintain match fitness in consistent form which would often see him losing his place in the side and be viewed as an option from the bench. In his final two years of McCourt's time at Celtic, the club would win back-to-back -back league titles and another Scottish Cup, but unfortunately McCourt was rarely involved, which led to Celtic allowing him to leave on a free transfer as his contract expired in 2013. With many options to choose from, McCourt opted to sign for championship side, Barnsley. Viewing this move as a chance to get back to his best and display his talents in England, McCourt was given a one year deal at Barnsley, in hopes of becoming the star playmaker they needed at that time. Although McCourt would go on to score another signature Maisie run goal at his new club, the same problems began to persist, with McCourt being unable to maintain the required fitness levels that were needed. 
This prompted Barnsley to release McCourt at the end of his contract. From here on out, McCourt would see his club career begin a familiar trend of spending short periods at clubs, providing great moments for the fans to enjoy, but struggle to maintain consistent form. Between 2014 and 2019, McCourt would spend one season at Brighton, a loan spell at Notts County, one season at Luton Town, one season at Glenavon, and his final seasons would be spent at Finn Harps, with varying degrees of success at each club. After helping his final side Harps win back promotion to their Premier Division in 2019, McCourt made the difficult decision to announce his retirement from football. Now let's look at Paddy McCourt's international career. McCourt was lamented just two caps between 2002 and 2009, before seeing himself become a key member of the Northern Ireland setup between 2010 and 2012. He was a part of many of the squads for qualifying campaigns around this period, and it was during this time that McCourt would go on to score what is described as being one of the best goals ever scored for Northern Ireland. In a 2012 European Championship qualifying match against the Faroe Islands, McCourt would score one of his renowned wonder goals by dribbling past four players and chipping the opposition goalkeeper to cement his place in his country's footballing history. McCourt would finish his international career with 18 caps and two goals. As for what McCourt is doing now since retirement, he has thankfully stayed heavily involved in football by trying to help the next generation of players coming through his former club, Derry City. Working as both the head of the youth academy and a technical director, he's been doing great work to help young players forge a career in football and bridge the gap between professional academies and local grassroots teams. Paddy McCourt had the technical ability and skills most players could only dream of having, and many have said that maybe he played in the wrong time period to get the most out of his career. But whatever your thought process is on that, just be thankful that we got to see the Derry Pele play. We hope you enjoyed the video, this is the Bosman viewing. If you're new here you should check out our other videos on the channel. And if you did enjoy this one, if you could thumbs it up, that'd be great. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.